Welcome to Y Gym Class. My name is Mike. I'm going to be taking you through today's workout. All you need is a nice clear open space and I recommend you have a water bottle with you. We may use it for balancing at some points just to increase the intensity and then also I want you to be drinking fluids throughout the workout. Remember, look for our hidden object because there is a contest. You can submit an entry and win some great prizes. So when you're ready, press play and let's get started on warming up. I'm going to start just by rotating. You can let your heels come up. Just swinging the arms playfully side to side. Awesome. And then just give me a little bit of a squat and then reach up tall, reach to the sky. Just waking the body up. You don't have to move too quickly right now. Awesome. Two more times. Last one. Great. And then I'll start by just doing butt kicks. If you want to make this a little more challenging, you can jog on the spot. Main thing is bring those heels up. Awesome. Okay, now tipping at the hip, reaching through your legs, and then reaching up to the sky. Good work, a few more seconds of this. All right, and last part of our warm up is just jumping jacks. Just nice and steady, you don't have to set a record. So today's workout, we're gonna challenge your balance. That's gonna be the main emphasis in today's video. More than anything, I want you to have fun and try really hard to move your body today, but just always make sure that you're being very safe and that it doesn't hurt, okay? So our first movement is gonna be walking the line. So again, we're focusing on that balance and we're gonna be doing it for 30 seconds there and back. So pretend like you're walking on a tight rope. Maybe you're walking over Niagara Falls and you don't wanna fall. Just go nice and slow forward. And then you can go backwards as well. Good for you, a few more seconds. Perfect. So today we're going to be doing 30, 30 seconds of work and then giving you little recoveries, okay? So we're going to do that walking the line again. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take this water bottle and you can try to balance it on your hand while you're going along the line. So I'm going to show that. So holding it straight out. Or if you want a real challenge, you can try to balance it on your head. I can't do that. Good, and then reversing it. Now, if you want to try to move a little quicker, that's great. And if you fall or stumble off the line, that's totally okay. Just do what you can. Awesome. And we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, final time. We're gonna set, we're gonna be walking that line. I like it the most, just with my hands out at the side, walking straight forward, straight back. That's enough of a challenge for me. You do what feels right for you and always move with control in a way that you feel comfortable with, okay? Last few seconds, almost there. Nice, there's a little bit of balance work to kick us off. Our next exercise is all just about getting our heart rates up and uh, moving and having fun and just trying really hard. We're gonna do jumping jacks. So what I want you to do is just join me for 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Look like this, try to get your hands high, nice overhead. 
And if you want to move really quickly, you can and challenge yourself and see how many jumping jacks you can get in 30 seconds. Or if you don't like moving fast, but you like to jump, you can jump and give me a little star jump each time. That's a little more challenging. Keep moving. Good, just a few seconds more. Whew, you made it. All right, take a little break, and then we're gonna do that again, okay? See, the walking the line was more balanced. This one's a little bit more hard on our breathing. We'll keep challenging you today in different ways so that it's fun, okay? Here we go, back to our jumping jacks. Really move quick if you can. Challenge yourself. You can do it. Good work. Ten seconds. Hang on. Amazing, you made it. Okay, one last set of jumping jacks. And I, whew, if you're like me, you're probably breathing pretty hard. If you are, great job. That means you're doing it right. Last time through. Try to set a record here. How many can you get? Challenge yourself. It's so important to be moving like this. You kids, you need 150 minutes of exercise where you're trying pretty hard every single week. So exercises are like this are great. They're so good at keeping you healthy. Five seconds. You made it. Nice work. Okay, so next we're going to go back to working on some balance. This is good because it'll let your heart rate come down. I want you to start on your right leg. And for 30 seconds, we're literally going to do um, standing on one leg. So we're going to practice that. If that's really easy for you, then we can uh, find different ways to make it challenging. Your first option would be to reach your left leg out to the side and then just squat down a little bit and touch the floor and then just see how many times you can repeat that. For most of us, just standing on this one leg is going to be hard enough. But if you want, challenge yourself and try that toe touch. Okay, good. Shake it out. Good chance to grab a drink of water if you need it. More than anything, shake it out. Relax the body. And of course, we did the right leg, so now we have to do the left leg. We want to make sure that the same strength and that you're good at balancing on both of your legs. So here we go. So again, your first option, just standing here. If you want to add a bit more, you can touch the ground. A little bit of a little bit of a squat at the top, just to challenge yourself. Or if that's still too easy, you can keep challenging yourself by trying to reach to the floor. So I'll show you that from the side so you can see it. You'd reach down. You might not be able to get all the way to the floor, but if you can, great. There we go, another rest. So we're gonna do three rounds of that. So that's one on each leg. We're gonna go back to that right leg. So find the right option for you. Maybe it's just standing on the one leg. Maybe it's doing those touches to the side, or maybe it's tipping at the hip and trying to touch the floor. Let's get back on that right side. I'm gonna show you a few reps of each kind. So there's me reaching to the floor. And of course, if you wobble a little bit and have to put your leg down for balance, totally okay. All right, that's your one option. Your other option again was that toe touch with a little squat. Final few seconds. Or of course you can just stand here. Great, shake that out. Halfway through our balancing work. So good, I'm proud of you guys at home. All right, class, let's get ready to do our second round on our left side. Again, balancing. Find the option that's right for you. This time, I'm just standing here. This is gonna be more than enough for me. You'll notice it, the bottom of the legs, the muscles in the hip, they're all working so hard. You might be shaking all over. That's okay, that means you're doing it right. I notice my left leg is much harder to balance on than my right leg. So that just means I need to work on it. Amazing, grab a quick drink if you like, shake it out. We're gonna do each balancing activity 
on each leg one more time, and then we'll move on to our next exercise. All right, right leg back on. This time I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do half the toe touch, and I'll do half the reach for the floor tip. Final round on this leg. It's okay if you're getting a little shaky halfway through. 10 seconds left. Hang on, you can get there. You made it, great work. So if you found that really challenging, awesome. I'm glad you worked that hard. If you're finding it easier, uh, then just try to um, choose one of the harder options, okay? Getting ready, last time on our left leg. Here we go. I'm gonna show it the same way. The first 15 seconds, I'm gonna do that toe touch. And the last 15 seconds, I'm going to do the tip of the hip. Good, switching. Oh, see I told you, my left leg is definitely the one I have to focus on more. Moving nice and controlled. Great, way to go. Okay, that's all our single leg balance work for today. Our next one, we're gonna get our heart rates back up a little bit. We're gonna be doing a squat with reach. So you're gonna be squatting down and then reaching up tall to the sky, reaching for the sun. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds, squat and reach. If you're really good at this, then just move really quickly. Just make sure we're sitting back and we're not letting our knees come forward, okay? I want this to be good for you and I don't want you getting hurt. Ooh, you can do it almost there. Come on, come on. I'm so proud of you. You made it. Okay, if that was too easy, then what we're gonna do add in this round is a little hop. So you're gonna come up and then just hop off the ground. If you found it really hard, then you were doing it right. I would just say stay with the same pace or maybe even slow it down a little. Here we go, 30 seconds, squat and reach. So again, you can add in that hop. Ooh. Come on, you're doing it. Almost there. Only two more exercises today after our squat and reaches. Final few seconds. Perfect, take a breather. We're gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Okay, final set, here we go. See how many you can get. Three, four. Come on, challenge yourself. Last set of squat reach. Final few seconds, go, go, go. Uh, and you made it, great. Don't worry, our next exercise doesn't have your breathing so heavy. We're gonna be doing a bear crawl. I'll show you from the side. In a bear crawl, you come on your hands and knees. Your first option will be just to walk like this, or if you can, take your knees off the ground. Just don't let your bum come way up. Join me when you're ready. Just moving forward and backward. So this is working on our tummy, our arms. Perfect, 10 seconds. If you ever need to take a break, just bring your knees to the ground for a few seconds. That's totally okay. Awesome. Quick break. I'm gonna stay down here. We're gonna do two more sets of bear crawl. This time we're gonna move side to side. We were going front to back before, so we're gonna move side to side. Little different challenge, right? Here we go. So shuffling those hands and feet. Bum is not higher than your shoulders. So you don't wanna be like this. You wanna be like this, if you can. Moving side to side. 
10 seconds left. You can do it. Almost there. You made it. In our last set of bear crawls, I want you to move all different ways. So you can spin around, side to side, front to back. Just explore the area you're working out in and just try to give me your best 30 seconds, okay? Here we go. So you might go forward a little bit or sideways or turn around, move up diagonally, whatever is good for you. And if it becomes too hard, you can always take a little breather in the middle of the set. That's totally okay. Go, 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 final little bit. All right, you made it. Great job, catch your breath. Our last exercise is a windmill. So we're gonna be standing, feet are wider than shoulder width apart, arms out to your side, reach down towards one set of toes, and then the other. You might not get to your toes, that's totally okay. Just reach as far as you can. And if you want, and you're really good at it and you want to challenge yourself, just move really quickly and see how many times you can touch your toes in 30 seconds. Last one. Awesome. Just two sets of windmills. And then I'm going to just give you a little bit of stretching for today. And you're all done with your gym class. Okay. Back to windmills, here we go. You can do it. So we're tipping at the hip. I'll show it from the side as well so you can see what it looks like. Good work, last one. Awesome. One last round of windmills. Congratulations, you've made it right to the end of the workout portion of today's video. I'm really, really proud of you. Oh, deep breath, shake it out. Setting back up, last time. Give me your best 30 seconds, windmills. Whoo, almost there. 15 seconds. You made it! Great work. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a little stretch on the ground and that'll complete our gym class for today. What I want you to do is nice, nice and wide, just sitting, and just walk those hands forward. Just gently relax your upper body. Relax your head. Breathing nice and deep. Catch your breath. Just gonna have you walk your hands over to the left leg a little bit. Hold there for a few seconds. And walk those leg, hands over to the right leg. In this stretch, you want to pull those toes in towards your hips. Awesome. Releasing out of that. I just want you to put your feet on the ground and I want you to just tip your legs off to one side and then the other. Kind of fun. We call these 90-90s. And that's because of the degree of bend in your knee. It's at a 90 degree angle. I know what you're thinking. And you're like, he's working math into gym class. But I'll be honest, gym is my favorite and math is my second favorite class. There we go, one more time each side. Okay, taking your time, using your hands and your knees, coming up onto all fours. Your hands are gonna be right under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And then I want you to round your back out like a cat, tuck your chin, 
And then going the other way. So they call this cat and cow. So go through, round your back again. And then drop your belly button. Look up to the sky a little bit. One last time. Awesome. What I'll have you do now is your knees are going to be wide, big toes come together, and just sink your hips back. They call this a child's pose. If you want, you can walk your hands forward. And I'll show you from the side a little bit so you can see it. Great. Now let's just have that right leg come forward. I'm just going to do a little runner's lunge here and just stretch that back of the hip out. Keep breathing nice and deep. Awesome, let's switch that stretch. Do the same stretch for the other side. So this is great. What I want you to do is try to be active for an hour each day. So this is great. It's giving you about 20 minutes of activity so, you know, if you want to come back in and tune in again today for another video, or perhaps you have another activity you can do around the house, um, just try to keep moving, okay? Awesome. Let's stand up, and I'm going to have you reach tall for the sky, stretching everything out, and just gently bend back a little bit. All right, and then bring the arms down, open up nice and wide. So you're stretching for your chest now, just opening up nice, tall posture. All right, way to go. That's gym class for today. Please like and subscribe so you can keep getting access to great content. And if you want to leave a comment on what your favorite exercise was, be sure to do that and we'll respond. Thanks everyone, bye.